those rival Florida Marlins, Mr. Jeffrey Loria. Mr. Loria. Thank you. It's a pleasure to speak Thank with you, you, sir. How are you doing? We're very good. City Field. First of all, what are your thoughts on the, the City Field ballpark? Oh, I think it's a great, great facility. They did a magnificent job putting this building together. The new ballpark in Miami coming next year. We're going to be opening it actually next April. April okay. 4th is opening day next year. All right. um, and we're going to be, uh, you know, unveiling a different kind of baseball experience. It's a ballpark that fits the, the South Florida environment. and. Um, you know, it's an all-white ballpark with a roof so that fans will be able to come and watch ball games in comfort, air conditioning, no more rain, which happens every afternoon in the summer. So it's, we're very excited about what's coming. And there's a lot of New York fans in the Miami area, so now with the new ballpark, maybe now those New York fans will officially become Marlins fans now, right? We welcome all fans. You know, the more excitement in the ballpark, the more energy, and that's the that's the great part about the game. I never realized that you were a three-sport star. I mean, I understand that you had uh, scholarships to go to USC, UNLV, and I believe UCLA. Um, I know that you know you're a professional baseball player, but what was your favorite sport at the time? Um, it was probably football, to be honest. Okay. Uh, but you know, I didn't really know. It was kind of um, with whichever season it was in, I. I said, you know, I like this best, and when that was over, just go to the next one. I, I couldn't really tell uh, which one was my complete favorite. What was the position that you played during your football days? A receiver. What are your thoughts on playing in New York, the biggest stage? Um, you know, this field's huge, you know. It's like you got to hit it at 400 feet to get it out of the, you know, smallest part of the field. But, um, you know, it's cool. It, it, it's, a, it's a good, you know, different atmosphere. and. Um, you know, it's just fun playing here. What is it about you and coming to Queens? I mean, you just, you just rake every time you face the Mets, man. Um, I think a big part of it has to do with we face them so much in spring training. And we get to, to know a lot of their pitchers as uh, position players. And, I mean, it seems like every single time we play them in spring training, we're going out there and seeing the same guys over and over and over again. So when the season time comes, I mean, we know exactly what they have. We know exactly what they throw, how hard they throw, what their balls do. And, um, I mean, it, I think it gives, you know, players an advantage just because we face them so much. Is it still a rivalry between the Mets and, oh, and these Marlins? Yeah, there's no question about it because, you know, when they come to Florida, it's probably our biggest, uh, uh, the, the biggest cast of supporters that come from the Mets. Okay. You know, the, down in Florida, everybody's a Mets fan.